Hi, everyone. Happy Thursday. We have Brad Vance here today with us from Classic Equine, and we're going to talk about some Richie Waters. Okay, so today you want to make sure that you show up in the comments. Tell us hi, um, ask a question, whatever you need to do, but show up in the comments because at the end of this, we are going to give one lucky commenter a $50 rebate towards a Richie watering system. Plus, right now we have free shipping on the Ultra Fount single and double and the Auto Fount single and double. So that would even be an added savings if you are the lucky winner of the rebate. Okay, so we have a pretty cool video to show you from Classic Equine. And so we're gonna turn it over to Brad and let him take it away. Good afternoon, I'm Brad Vance with Classic Equine by Richie. <clears throat> and thanks for Valley Vet Supply for having us on the live deal today. So make sure you comment, like um, this this live session with Valley Vet Supply, and you'll be uh, entered to win a fifty dollar coupon redeemable against the Classic Equine by Richie. So over the last couple of weeks, we've been busy doing some video and and some shooting to help you uh, understand the installation process and also understand the full line that Classic Equine by Richie offers. So the video is about eight to 10 minutes and uh, we're gonna have a live question and answer after the video finishes. So make sure you uh, watch and enjoy, hope you have some fun. We had some fun shooting it and it was about 97 degrees one day when we poured <laughs> it, so it was a good workout also. <laughs> and Garrett, the guy behind the camera actually pitched in and helped. So thank you so much Garrett. So we're gonna play the video now and just like a like or comment, and we'll look forward to uh, talking with you after the video is done playing. All right. Can you pull it up on that? Sure. Because I'm scared out. So first of all, who is Ritchie? Ritchie is a company based in Conrad, Iowa. They were established in 1921. They have a state-of-the-art manufacturing facility, and they've been building watering solutions for livestock owners since 1921. So who is Classic Equine? Classic Equine is a company based in Granbury, Texas. We were formed in 1995. We build products for competitive horse owners and horse owners who just enjoy their horses. In 2013, we got together with Ritchie form Classic Equine by Richie, which is a watering solution for horse owners. Today we're here to talk to you about the installation process of a couple waters and then we're going to walk you through and show you some current installed waters so you have an idea of the offering that Classic Equine by Richie provides you, the horse owner. So why Classic Equine by Richie? It provides clean, clear water for your horse to stay hydrated. Second of all, it's good for you, the horse owner. We're busy people and we don't want to waste our precious time cleaning water troughs or running uh, garden hoses into buckets. Third of all, it's good for the environment because you waste less water due to the low surface area and the evaporation. They recharge quickly and your horse will drink better on cool, clear water. All right, so I'm going to walk you through the classic Equine by Richie product line. We're going to start with the Easy Fount and it's named Easy Fount because it's quick and easy to install. It is a non-insulated unit and it is non-heated. So this is for warm climate only or summer use only if you're in a colder climate. There's a hose bib right here that you'll connect your water source to. So once the water source is hooked up um, inside the unit, I'll show you how the Ritchie uh, ball fat or the float works. So your water source will come up here, connect to this um, valve. Once the water's on, basically the reservoir will fill up, your float will rise, and it'll shut the unit off. So this is the Easy Fount. It's a non-insulated, non-heated unit. And basically it replaces uh, the float or the water trough that you typically have. It's got a low surface area of water. It's going to recharge quickly. This unit can water up to 20 head. Um, it's easy to clean. 
It's a quick, easy installation, and it's great for warmer climate areas. Okay, so this is a double auto fount that was installed about four or five years ago. Usually keep my mares and babies out here in this front trap, but the auto fount is an insulated and optional heated unit. So this unit, if you uh, do a proper installation, will be a frost-free unit. There's an optional uh, immersion heater that goes in the unit and also some heat tape that can wa wrap your water source. So this will be a frost-free unit. Okay, so we're going to go up one level. We started with the easy fount. I showed you the auto fount. This is the ultra fount and this is the top of the line, most permanent, most frost-free water in the Classic Equine by Richie line. The difference between this and the auto fount, the main difference is that this unit comes fully insulated with standard heat. So you'll get a heat tape that goes down around your water source. You'll get two heating elements that are under the stainless steel pan. Um, you'll have a self-regulating thermostat that turns itself on and off when temperatures get to freezing. And you'll have your stainless steel pan that keeps that uh, water warm in the winter. So this is the top of the line ultra fount. Okay, rounding out the classic equine by Richie Lyon are the stall fountains. About five years ago when I built this barn, I've never had a barn with a permanent watering solution in my stalls. It was always the garden hose and the buckets. I did permanent water solutions, the classic equine by Richie stall fountains. I've got five stalls in this barn. I did two of the heated units due to where I had electricity. I did three non-heated units just because of the climate here in Texas. So my most favorite thing, if I have company over or like here in the summer, I'll whistle up my horses in the morning. I'll keep them up all day so the hot Texas sun doesn't bake their coats. And I don't have to worry when I'm at work that they've got a clean, fresh, clear source of water in the hot Texas sun. Okay, so we're gonna talk uh, briefly about the process that I've got here. Basic installation steps. The first thing I did was of course a planning process. I thought about where I would want to have water on this property and brought the water source to it. But before that, I did call a uh, dig test to make sure that I was not trenching and digging into anything that I shouldn't be. This is the catch pin area of my arena. Um, there'll be a, a water that goes here. These pipe bars will actually be cut out and this water will split these two pins so that I can water both sides of this pin for my calves or my steers or if I have a friend over and they need a place for an extra horse. What I've done is I've buried my water line. I've 90 degreed up. This is three quarter inch PVC pipe. I've installed a ball valve for shutoff. I've put a reducer from three quarter inch down to a half inch coupler that's provided by Richie, Classic Equine by Richie. This water, water hose tube will go on over the top of this nipple, be clamped down, and this will connect to your auto fountain. The thermal tube basically surrounds the water so source and provides uh, ambient air around that water source and will prevent this water from freezing. We've let my concrete cure, we've taken the form boards off, um, we've got the framed up so it's going to water both sides of these two pins for uh, horses or cattle or calves or steers. Um, that's the nice thing about the auto fountain double is you can split two pins and you get more value from this water. So the good thing about it is when you get this out of the box, Richie supplies you with of course the float assembly, the hose clamps, the washers, uh, everything that you need from the water source up to assemble your water. And today's the fun part where you get to put this all together, turn your water on and adjust your float and then you're going to have cool, clear, fresh water for your horses. To get a frost-free or a more frost-free application, Richie provides you with this foam that's going to seal off the bottom of the unit from the wind and the elements. Now that the unit is secured down, I'm going to go ahead and 
install the float assembly, I'll run the water supply hose down through. I'll push it down in the groove and I'll tighten up the float assembly where it's held in place. Then I'll hook the water source up to my water supply line through the access panel. Remove the access panel, reach inside, hook the rubber hose up to my water supply line and secure that with the hose clamp. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put the uh, plugs in. We're going to turn the water source on and we're going to find out how to get a good of a plumber I am. So once the plugs are in, we're going to turn the water source on. So now, just going to adjust the float to where it's going to shut the water off once it reaches the right level. There we go. Okay, so to finish up, just want to talk a little bit about water by the numbers. Studies show that horses will consume six to 10 gallons of water per day. So you want to have a clean, clear, fresh source of water. And also 65 to 70% of a horse's body is water. And a hydrated horse is a healthy horse. We're back. Can everybody hear us? Yes, I can hear you from here. Good. <laughs> Good deal. <laughs> we never know when we're going to experience technical difficulties. Yeah, I hear you. This Facebook <laughs> live stuff is uh, interesting. <laughs> yes. Remember, if you guys have comments or questions, please let us know you're here. Um, if you have any questions, post them and we will get them answered. Um, let us know you're here because we'll be doing a giveaway at the end of this. So. Yes, one lucky commenter is going to get a $50 rebate towards the purchase of a Richie Waterer. So let us know you're here, say hi, ask all the questions you want because Brad is here to answer all of them for you. So I hope you enjoyed the video. We had fun making it and uh, the Classic Equine by Richie product line is seriously the most favorite thing about my place. It's, it's a good feeling to know that horses or cattle or whatever I've got out there have a clean, fresh, you know, uh, rechargeable source of water. So we're going to take any questions. I've got some of the units set up in here today. I've got uh, some pictures of some of the accessories that we didn't show in the video, but um, if you have any questions, just let us know. Um, Lisa asked, how do you get your horse to go to the tank? My horse, my horses snort over new things in the pasture. <laughs> That's actually a good question because they are, uh, you know, highly intelligent. And anything new in the pasture will probably make them take a double take. Um, a lot of times, you know, you might go out there and use a bucket of grain and get them to come up to the bucket of grain. Maybe splash a little bit of the water out of the trough onto the cement. Just let them know that it's that's there, and they'll get thirsty and they'll they'll start to drink. Sometimes the first time that they drink and the float goes down and the water recharges, it'll make a slight hissing noise and it might spook them, but they'll get over it and they'll get used to drinking. Um, Michelle asks, is it easy to clean? Yep, we actually did some video of uh, how easy it is to clean. Basically, um, about once every four to six weeks, sometimes up to three months, depending on the temperature and the sunlight that they're getting, um, there's plugs. Um, I can show you right here. There's plugs that you can basically pop out. You'll just unscrew and you'll pop the plug out if you're strong enough to do it. And then you'll just use a little brush. You'll brush the inside of the tank and then reinsert your plug. And then the water will fill back up and uh, you can repeat that process. So they're very, very easy to clean. 
Teresa asks, is there maintenance that needs to be done? Um, really, the only maintenance is cleaning, depending on the sunlight and the algae buildup that you'll get. Um, and every once in a while, depending on your water, um, if you have hard water and you have like iron or calcium in it, um, in the float assembly, there's a, a little small, oh, this one's not it. This little valve right here actually pops out and there's a little rubber snub deal that every once in a while you'll need to take this little deal loose, maybe pick that out, brush it off, drop it back in, and then replace that little stopper, the valve stopper, and then that will uh, shut the the flow of water off again. So that's that's really the only maintenance I've had with mine the last four or five years. Um, we had another question. Do you need to run an electric line to keep it from freezing? Do you use heat tape or what? Yes, you will need to run electricity. Um, you'll bury the electricity in the ground. Your white PVC pipe will carry your water. Your gray PVC pipe will carry your electricity. Usually you'll put about, um, you'll cover your water line um, with dirt about 12 to 18 inches, depending on your frost depth. Then you'll cover your gray PVC pipe and bring your electrical to the unit. And there is a heat tape that goes down around the unit or down the water source. And then on the auto fount, there's an immersion heater that plugs in underneath the unit. So this cord would drop down through the top of the unit and plug in underneath the unit. And then you can place the immersion, immersion heater in your water and then that will keep the water from freezing. The ultra fount comes with Everything as far as the heating source already in the unit. Underneath the unit, you'll have uh, heat elements and a self-regulating thermostat that come with the unit. They're pre-installed. And they just plug in. So this would be your heat tape. This would be your thermostat. And that would be your heating element right there. Oh yeah, and then also the thermal tube that goes around the water source um, helps the water, the water source from freezing also. Good questions. Okay, we don't have any of this. Anybody else have any more questions? Make sure you put them in the comments if you do, and we'll get them answered. Okay, don't forget that we also are offering free shipping right now on the Ultra Fount Single and Double and the Auto Fount Single and Double. So that also um, could, could uh, make some significant savings for you if you're interested in the Richie Water right now, especially if you are the lucky winner at the end. So it's keep those summer. comments coming. It's, it's a good summer project. I know I'm glad that I got <laughs> something that uh, we could show you while we're waiting for some more comments is on the on the stall fountains. Um, there's two different heights of the shroud. This is a 30 inch shroud, so it measures 30 inches from here to here. This little lip is for to set your bucket on when you clean this unit so you don't get all of the water in your stall. This is kind of a standard for an adult or a grown horse. We do, we, we do make one that's 20 inches. That would be shorter and easier for like a young weanling or yearling to drink out of also. Um, so that's a good feature to, to know the difference on the, on the shrouds too. Okay. Any other questions? No other questions right now. Good. Hopefully the video did a good job. Are these typically only used for horses or can they be used for other livestock? 
Um, pretty much any livestock um, can drink out of them. Like we had a big dog that would drink out of it. We've got calves and steers that'll drink out of it. Even our little dog will jump out up and drink out of it. So goats, sheep, as long as they can reach the, the trough area, they can, they can drink out of it. Yeah, Richie's been providing waters for all types of livestock um, since 1921, and we've just been working with them on the Classic Equine by Richie for about the last six or seven years now. We have another question that came in. Does it have to sit on a concrete pad? Um, the auto fount is recommended permanent installation. The ultra fount is recommended permanent installation. The stall fount basically attaches to your stall walls um, so it does not go on concrete. The easy fount, which I don't have in here, which is our summer non-insulated, non-heated unit, um, you can put it on concrete, but it does not have to be. You can fill the unit full of sand. You can stake it down um, with some tie stakes. Um, you can, you know, secure it other ways. There's, it's in the uh, installation manual, the different options for installing it. But the auto fount, the ultra fount, are permanent installations, and concrete is the recommended application. Okay, we just had another question come in. Um, they just joined, and they wanted to know um, if we had mentioned anything about if a horse would kick it. How durable are they? Um, they did all kinds of uh, testing up there in Conrad, Iowa. They have a beam that they pull back and actually release it, and then it slams into the unit. It's a rotational molded product. It's high density. It is kick resistant. It is bite resistant. Um, we do have a 10-year warranty on them. Um, the five, there's a five-year on all of it, and then it, it's prorated from year six through ten. So um, if a horse kicks it, it may scratch it a little bit, but it should not uh, cause any damage to the unit or to the horse because it's all rounded edges. It's pretty dead. Um, they're very, very safe. Um, Susan uh, had a question. Would the stainless steel bowl get too hot during California summers? Um, the edge of the stainless steel may have some warmth to it, but, um, I would say that the water due to the low surface area, there's a small amount of water that they're going to drink out of. So the sun won't affect it as much. Um, and then it's going to recharge quickly. So, um, the water temp should always be, you know, a drinkable tap temp here in Texas. We have you know, 106 plus degree temperatures, and I've never had any issues with our waters here being too hot for uh, animals to drink. Is someone available for installation questions at Classic Equine? Yes, ma'am. We can take installation questions here, and also Richie and Conrad Iowa has a team there that's also very good with installation questions. The installation manuals that come in the box do a real good job of explaining, but every once in a while you will get into something where you want a little professional advice. But if I can do it, I'm sure about it. <laughs> yeah, we're customer service, we're old fashioned, we'll answer the phone around here. Okay. Lisa, we, you can buy them at Valley Vet Supply here. Um, valleyvet.com. We have a full line of Classic Equine by Richie Waters. Now, Valley Vet Supply is one of our best Classic Equine by Richie dealers. They've done a good job of promoting the product. Um, the vets there believe in cool, clear water, and they've done a good job with us, so we appreciate Valley Vet. We've had a few comments come through from people who say that they love their Richie Waters. So you have some fans <laughs> watching. Well, I'll tell you what, there's a little work in the planning and installation process, but when you're finished with that, 
um, you will be very, very happy for a long time that you did it. My wife and kids are very happy because <laughs> they were the water crew. <clears throat> no more hauling water. <laughs> no more hauling water. No more dumping out tubs. No more and cleaning them. Running a garden hose through the stalls. Um, you know, a five Rick. gallon bucket tied in a stall is a great way to water your horse when you're mobile and moving around. But, um, you know, the stall founts are so much better as far as, you know, they have an endless supply. Um, you don't have to dump the bucket out. You just clean it every once in a while. It's, it's a really nice product. So we're glad we got some fans that like them. If you put them in, you want to tell people because it's a, it's a good deal. Okay. Um, any more questions in the lineup? No more questions right now. Okay. Nope. Yeah. I think. How are we doing? It might. I'm not sure how long have we been on here. Uh, Time flies when we're on these live videos. No, it makes your heart beat fast. <laughs> Mine, anyway. We've got quite a few viewers. 26 minutes, the way it looks. Okay, well, we can hang out for a few more, and then we can finish up, and you can draw your winner. I was trying to think of anything else that... Um, one of the other things that we could show you, I've got a picture of it, if you'll follow me over here. Um, a lot of times people want to know um, how much your horse is drinking. So there is a water meter. I don't have one here to show you, but I've got a picture of one. There's a water meter that you can actually put in the supply line, and it digitally will tell you how many gallons per day that the water or the horse is going through. So that's a cool feature also. That's a, a question we get quite a bit when, when, when we're at trade shows and stuff. You guys still hear me? We can't. Yes. <laughs> we're here. We're here. Good. Good. Well, I'm going to turn it back over to you guys, unless you have any more questions for me. Um, we're just appreciative of the partnership with Valley Vet, and we appreciate the partnership that we have with Richie, and it's been a really fun uh, co-branded line to help horse owners with a watering solution. So we're, we're very pleased and hope that uh, horse owners out there would consider Classic Equine by Richie for their watering needs someday. Yeah, and fifty dollars. We, have, we do have another question that came through. How cold does it get before you need to need the frost-free one? So it's going to de depend, of course, on where you're at in the United States. Um, but you know there is a constant temp for freezing. So if you get um, freezing climate, um, say like you know five days or more a year, or ten days more a year. Um, you would want to consider a frost-free solution. Um, you know, depending on where you're at, your frost line will be anywhere from, you know, 12 inches up to over six feet. So the colder and the longer uh, freezing temps that you have, you would definitely want to consider the frost-free unit. So we tease a little bit about it down here in Texas. We get about five to 10, maybe 15 days of max of freezing temps. So I put some frost-free ones in because I'm originally from South Dakota and I don't like freezing water. You would want to put definitely frost-free units, you know, like where you guys are at in Kansas, where I'm originally from in South Dakota. If you go to South Texas, you probably don't need a frost-free uh, solution. All right. Okay. Um. I think it might be time to announce our winner, Melanie. Would you like to do the honors of announcing our winner? I sure can. So um, the winner of the $50 rebate towards a water is going to be Lisa Gomez Robertson. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations, Lisa. 
Congratulations. And don't forget right now, one more time, free shipping on the Ultra Fount single and double and the Auto Fount single and double. Um, so some significant savings there right now. Yep. Make sure Thanks. you uh, uh, like or comment. And then you guys are going to post a question also for the $100 rebate tomorrow. Is that right? Yes. Yeah, we okay. have a special surprise. Um, there is going to be another drawing tomorrow. Um, what you need to do is like, comment, and share this video. And also, in the comments, answer the question of, do you have a spot that makes sense for a classic equine by Richie Water? So we will be given another, this one will be a $100 rebate towards the purchase of a classic equine um, by Richie Water. Tomorrow morning, we will announce the winner at 9 o'clock. So like, share, comment, answering the question on if you had a spot that makes sense for a classic equine by water, by Richie Water. <laughs> Tongue twister. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for so, Brad, we really appreciate you guys hopping on. The video was awesome, um, very informative. So hopefully that answered a lot of questions. And if we, if you guys still have questions, go ahead, put them in the comments. We will get with Brad and get answers for you if we can't answer them. Um, so thank you, Brad, very much. Yeah, Lisa, go ahead guys. and send us a PM um, to get your information. So thanks for thank you guys me. very much. Really, really appreciate y'all. And again, make sure you like, share, and comment, answer the question for tomorrow at nine o'clock. We will be drawing another winner. Good luck. We will see you guys later. Bye. Bye-bye.